are worthy. Doesn't matter if you vote for me, just as long as you vote. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, thanks for your support. <laughs> Have you voted for your queen yet? I'd rather burst into flames. <laughs> well, can't you vote first? <laughs> Look, nobody cares about you or your stupid dance. Out. She didn't be back in your coffin. <laughs> What's wrong with those people? Forget them. They're gross. They hate everything. Yeah, those groats are so grotesque. Oh, hello. That's why they're called groats. <laughs> yeah, nothing gets by you. <laughs> See you guys. See you. You know, um, I got a free period if you want to go to the library and check each other out. Oh. To meet my new lab partner, some guy named Sid. <laughs> You're Christy Ford, right? Uh, yeah. I'm Sid, your new lab partner. Are you sure she's not the experiment? <laughs> Weren't you going to the library? Are you gonna be okay? I only bite when there's a full moon. <laughs> now, see you later. You're Sid. Look, let's just get through the semester without killing each other. Not killing each other's good? <laughs> Why don't we meet after school at the stadium to work on our project? Oh, gee, that would be fun. Then could we go to the Gap? Yeah, you want to? <laughs> uh, no. Let's go to the morgue. You mean where they keep dead people? This morgue's a coffee house. You know, behind the old burned-out water tower. Yeah, but isn't that where all those weird... <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, lots. Well, I have cheerleading practice until four. Oh, that's perfect, because I have band practice. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> See you at four. So, boys, know anyone dating a 22-year-old full-grown woman? <laughs> oh, yeah, me. <laughs> Get out, man. I speak the truth. Man, I met her at the university bookstore. I don't know, it's hard to believe you with an older woman or you at the bookstore. <laughs> uh, anyway, Wendy is a college graduate, which means she's smart enough to appreciate me. <laughs> you genius. Did you tell her you're still in high school? <laughs> you know, boys, sometimes honesty is not the best policy. And Wendy is one of those times. <laughs> Go daring. Rah. <laughs> Yoo hoo! <laughs> Dad! <laughs> well, here we are. <sighs> oh, that is one scary outfit. <laughs> so, how do you like the mock? Um, well, it's very dark and very different. <laughs> Are we safe here? <laughs> Not really. What? Relax, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, I get it, you're trying to scare me. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. It's working. <laughs> well, it was kind of weird, but I got used to it. So how old were you when you found out you were adopted? Um, almost 10, how about you? Two and a half. Wow, your parents told you early. They didn't have to tell me. They're Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> that 
that wasn't a joke. Uh, of course it wasn't. <laughs> so, what do you think? That bad, huh? No, no, you look good. I'm just laughing because I'm sitting here with the jock goddess and I'm actually not hating it. Jock goddess? Oh, that's her name for cheerleaders. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> okay, you ruined it. Sissy, can I ask you something? How come you're... You know, why are you a, um... Oh, you mean the groped thing? It's like, ever since I was little, I never really fit in with the other kids, you know? I kept waiting for them to invite me to their parties or join their clubs. Never happened. Oh, that's so sad. It sucked. Oh. But when I came to high school, I found other kids like me, so I started hanging out with them. And now I don't even want to hang out with anyone else. So, being a groat's kind of like saying, you can't reject me anymore because I'm going to reject you first. Never thought of it like that, but yeah. That and I don't need a costume for Halloween. <laughs> See, that was a joke. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to get this. Well, let's get cranking on our project. Okay. Hurry up, guys. You're going to be late for calculus. Uh, that'd be a problem, Silk, if we took calculus. <laughs> <laughs> well, you may want to sign up once you eyeball the fine young hate subbing for Mr. Sachs this oh, week. Oh, yeah, I think I seen her around, man. Oh, man, is she that gorgeous redhead with the great... <laughs> knowledge of calculus? <laughs> nice try. I'll leave so you can have your boy attack. <laughs> You know, last week, I would have been as pathetic as you losers. But since I met Wendy, man, I don't even look at other women. Oh, well, then close your eyes, because here comes the hot new teacher. Miss Calculicious. <laughs> That's Wendy! Over here is the South Hallway, which is on the north end of the school. Let me tell you, nothing around here makes sense. Hey, Manny, stay alive! <laughs> oh, man, that was close. Man, that's a girl you're dating? What do I do? I mean, if she finds out I'm in high school, she'll dump me. Don't worry. Once she really gets to know you, <laughs> she'll dump you anyway. <laughs> so who's this new friend you want us to meet? Oh, just someone from biology class. Game's over, freaks. Get lost. We're still playing. Wrong. We're playing. <laughs> that is so unfair, the way people treat groats. Oh, come on, they're asking for it looking like that. Yeah, they're a walking horror movie. It's not like they're a cult or something. They just dress differently. Yeah, but what's with all that black lipstick and eyeliner? Yeah, and the girls look weird, too. <laughs> you guys are so mean. Who cares about them? Yeah, they hate us. I wonder why. Sid, I was just going to call you. Why, you didn't think I was going to show? I'm here. I even wore my dress-up stud. <laughs> How about, um, you and me just do something tonight? What about your friends? Um, well, Mary Beth and Julie have to stay home and study. Do they know that there's two people in there that look just like them? <laughs> look, it just isn't a good night for this. Oh, I get it. Your friends don't want to be seen with a groat. Well, they'd like you if they got to know you. But they don't want to get to know me. Don't you get that? Okay, but we can still be friends. Not likely. You can't wait too much what they think. Thanks for wasting my time. You have got to talk to her, Antonio. Yeah, if Chrissy keeps hanging around those weirdos, she's gonna ruin her reputation and lose all her friends. You guys are making way too big a deal of this. Okay. Don't complain to us when she starts running out of things to pierce. <laughs> now the groats are sitting at our booth. Oh. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> this is our table. Shoe. I was here first. Christy, what are you doing? Just showing the groats some support. What, is that a stud in your tongue? No, dum-dum, it's a tic-tac. <laughs> Christy, aren't you getting carried away?